But Mark Magsayo is definitely watching this. Do you have anything to say uh, to Mark Magsayo? Uh, no, I mean, what I noticed from Mark, he's a humble guy. So I can't say nothing bad about Mark. I just know he's going to prepare himself at his best ability. So am I. And we're just going to give you guys a great fight. Um, but yeah, Mark, you're watching. Hey, good luck, bro. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best. You know, I'm. Uh, he's due for an interview uh, this week and next week. Uh, next week. Do you have any any question that you want me to ask him? <laughs> just curious. Oh, uh, just tell him to take it easy, man. Tell him to take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, um, now now that we uh we know about what to expect on the fight, we talk about your fight. I, I want to talk more about you because I want to introduce you here to the Filipino boxing fans. Uh. And uh, most of the boxers here from the Philippines, uh, uh, Pepito, come from the poor family, including Mark. Uh, but you also have a very interesting story. And uh, just before this interview last night, I watched the story of Jose uh, Haro, the boxer documentary. Uh, can you share about what happened in, in 2017? Uh, two things that happened there. But, you know, is there something you can share? Um. Uh, are you uh, talking about the shooting? Yeah, um, I, I think it both happened. I don't know which one came first. Uh, the shooting first. Let's let's talk about the shooting. Um, you got shot in, in your your foot. Oh, is it both? Yeah. So uh, back in two thousand um, uh, fifteen, I was uh, like mm. I told you earlier. I, I I'm a sales rep for Pepsi, so I was uh, you know mm -hmm. working um, at a store and um, well after my shift. Uh, Anyways, uh, I was just at the wrong place, wrong time, and some guy uh, mm -hmm. shot at me six times, mm -hmm. and uh, and I I got hit in each foot once, and um, it sucked because at that time I felt like my boxing career was was taking off. I, I just I I think I just had like three wins back to back. I had like I think two or three wins fights I wasn't even supposed to win. They when I went out to uh, California. They didn't give me a chance, you know, and mm -hmm. I, I came out with four years and I'm very grateful that I did. And I came back healthy and I was supposed to fight um, in November. It was supposed to be like my biggest payday to date uh, as a fighter. And I was super excited. But then uh, I ended up getting shot. And obviously that put a lot of my plans on hold. And when I got shot, uh, boxing was like the last thing in my mind. I, I honestly didn't even care about boxing. You know, I love boxing. But boxing does not pay my bills. So I was worried about how am I going to be able to provide for my family. And that was oh. stressful. Okay. Uh, I, I just wanted to confirm. What year was this? 2015? Yeah, October of 2015. Uh, okay. Uh, I thought this was 2017 because the documentary was uh, 2007. So it was 2015. Um. October. So this was after your fight with Juan Reyes. Yeah. So is that right? Yeah. After that, yes. So like I think like a week and a half after that, um, that's when it happened. And I actually had a cast on. I had a cast on because uh, I hurt my right hand when I fought Reyes. Because Reyes was a tough, uh, tough guy. He just came forward and he just wouldn't stop. And um, but anyways, uh, um. When that when the shooting happened, I was just obviously stressed out because I, I wasn't sure what was going to happen to my feet. If I was going to be able to walk again and to be able to provide for my family. Like I said, boxing doesn't pay my bills, so I was like, "How am I going to be able to work to take care of my family?" I have a at that time I have four kids. I still have a big family, so yeah. Um, but um, but I recover from that. I I, I um I got two fights here at home. I won, grateful that I won. Um, but then a year later, people, a lot of people don't know this. So a year later, October of 2016, I broke my foot running, my bone snap because of the shooting. So I was off for another two to three months. And um, that, back, okay. that happened a year later after the shooting. So a lot of people don't know that, but that happened. And then, oh. um, yeah, so... 
I've had a lot of surgeries, a lot of surgeries on my left foot. And okay. um, oh, hopefully think, it's okay now. Yeah, I mean, I'm still able to do what I'm doing. It's just obviously the pain comes at night. Well, well, well and during the day, if I sit down and relax, like if I'm on my feet all day, I can, uh, I'll stop feeling the pain. Um, my kids make fun of me sometimes because my, my toes will get um, swollen and they, uh -huh. they, they call them little, little sausages. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah and then uh but so that happened in um to that october 2016 when i broke my foot again well my bone snapped so i was i had to recover i think it was like two to three months powercast sports if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell